All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, man, whoo! It, it's mixed emotions. It's a mixed bag, man. It's big W's, big L's, slight W's, bigger L's, bigger W's. Man, it's everything, man, right now. Now, I'm not going to lie. Next gen, I'm loving the game. It's so much fun. But at the same time, there's so many issues that we need to take care of. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. The issues are damn near overshadowed by the amount of fun that, that we're having. And I can tell that they tweaked the game a little bit. And we're going to talk about all that in a second, man. But if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video because it helps it go out to everybody. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notice. We're dropping that 2K heat every day of the week, man. But uh, in this video, man, check it out. We got Ronnie 2K talking about the rep boost. We got your boy Chris Move taking the community to task as well as 2K for allowing it. And last but not least, we got my guy, NBA 2K Toots. He's telling y'all the same thing that I told y'all yesterday, but nobody don't want to believe me. These are things that I notice in the game that a lot of people don't even notice. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I get tired of talking about it because everybody knows more than me, even though I play this game an unhealthy amount. But anyway, like I said, appreciate y'all coming through. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Before we get started, man, I want to give a big shout out to my guy, Boom Time. Hey, man, we was playing these guys last night. One of the few inside centers left in this game. Dude got a tough-ass bill. He's a tough player, man. You know him and his squad. We played a few times, me, him, Brood, and all those. And like I said, I can always appreciate good competition. So shout out to that guy, man, because he really got, he really has a, a center that's an inside center that has inside moves. Now, we took the dubs, but it wasn't always easy. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. So, hey, shout out to that guy, man. Anytime somebody is willing to come in there and stick it out toe-to-toe -to -toe and not cheese, the big thing is not cheese. You know, I'm, I can always respect it. But look, first up, man, first thing we got for y'all guys is Ronnie 2K said yesterday, yesterday we was in the wreck. Everybody had a little rep boost. Everybody's like, bro, what's going on? People kept coming through saying, Jay, did you get the rep boost and all of that? Brute was like, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just going to take my blessing. But Ronnie 2K actually tweeted out. This is why I started saying something about it because he tweeted out around about 6 p.m. yesterday. The speed at which you earn rep is, is in early levels has been increased and rep has been uh credited uh I mean, rep has been credited to the date hold up to date for games played what the hell ronnie rep has been credited to date for games played if you have been if you have been out there grinding hope you got hope you guys enjoy the update updated rep happy gaming more or less what he's saying is they retro i don't understand why he didn't just say it bro they have retroactively credited you for the rep that you've already gained because they up the, the the rate at which rep is earned. He could have just said that. I don't know what he was trying to say right there, though. It is what it is, though. I guess he was just trying to be elo eloquent with it and all that good stuff. But so if you get on the game today and you've been grinding and you get out there and you say, damn, I got way more rep than I had yesterday. That's why you've been credited for rep that you've already gained. Um, well, they increased the, the rate at which you gain rep, and then we've all been credited for it. And so it's, they pretty much just like when they go and backfill or something like that, or like when you get when you get a raise at work, and then they say it's retroactive, so you'll see it on this check, and then you see them extra two cents on that check because because you didn't got you know a, a fifty cent raise or something like that, a dollar raise, and then all that shit get ate up in taxes. Like, come on, man. Just like this Christmas bonus. Hey, let me know that in the comment section. Look, you getting the Christmas bonus. I think Christmas bonuses come out this week or whatever, right? We gonna get these Christmas bonuses and be like, damn, man, most of them gonna get ate up by taxes. Why Why I even, why fall out? Why for I even get this bonus? But let me know if y'all job get a Christmas bonus. We do. You know, we get a little something, something. You know, sometimes it's a little something. Sometimes it's a lot of something. You know what I'm saying? But anything appreciated. It's enough to buy me uh this. uh. It's enough to buy... Uh, a PlayStation or something like that and then the bot's gonna get it anyway so I'm not gonna get it anyways leave a like if you get a Christmas bonus and leave a like if you don't if you don't but uh, up next man we got my guy NBA 2k toots man he did a fabulous job on this video this is my dude right here I'm trying to see if I can get him I'm thinking about doing a little podcast and then just getting different people from the community on the show or what have you man but look bro uh this is NBA 2k toots and he's talking about the different uh timing zones 
on the game and what have you. And this is the thing that I was telling y'all about when I said yesterday to say goodbye to the Zen, because with the Zen, you know, everybody's, every shot has some different timing, bro. Every single shot that you take has different timing, depending on where you take it on the floor. Now I get it. I know that corner sitters are going to use it and probably hash guys are probably gonna use it depending on where they stand. But them dudes been doing it for years, bro. They've been doing it for years because the timing doesn't change, uh, you know, where they take it. And then a lot of people were like, well, it's been like that or whatever. And then he shows you that it hasn't been like that because, you know, on, on current gen, when you take a shot, you, you, depending on where you take it, it, it's gonna change the timing. But he's showing you here that he can take a shot like last gen even though the timing was different, there was a lot of overlap. So you could fix, you could put it, let's say, let's say one was 630, 640. And um, let's say one of the timing zones was 630 to 650. One of them was six, uh, 640 to 660. And then you had one that was like, um, like uh, you know, something else somewhere in there. You could get the overlap zone and it'll be like 640. So. He was saying that, uh, you know, that's how it used to be. So you could actually set it so no matter where you took a shot from, you're going to hit, you could, you're going to green it because you'll be in the green zone because there was a, a lot of overlap in the green zone. As this stands, there's virtually no overlap in the green zones. So like, it's, it's going to be difficult. Now somebody can write a script, but you're going to, like I said, you're going to have to have, oh, you're going to have to mod up arrow, down arrow, left, right. You're going to have to know where you're, where you're shooting from. You got to know all of that stuff. So if you got to know all of that, you might as well just take the shot yourself. Me, myself, bro, I can't rely on no machine to take the shot for me because if I miss even once, I'm going to be pissed. I'll be like, hell, I can miss myself. But you know it is what it is, man. Uh, it, It's just how the game goes, man. So even though somebody's going to try to figure it out and maybe there will be a jump shot in the game that has similar timing no matter where they take the jump shot from as it stands right now you cannot you you, you can't use the zen unless you're going to just use it from like one specific location and even then you got different factors like did the person have dimer did the person hit you with a a flashy pass or something like that you know what i'm saying were you moving when you took the shot did you set long enough what badges you have you got to worry about all that is this a hot zone is it not a hot zone but he already said hot zones don't don't matter with with uh shot timing so that won't matter anyway but like i said it, it just is what it is man we'll see how that goes and last but not least chris move taking the community to task man bro chris move been spinning it the last couple of days everybody want to be like chris move and what i'm saying is everybody want to be like chris move is where you can do your own thing in your own lane you don't have to worry about nobody you got to collab you ain't got to do nothing nothing you can just do what you want to do drop any video you want on your channel and uh and you're gonna be good and people gonna watch it because of who you are like everybody want to be like chris move bro i'm i'm, I'm not even gonna count i I'm, i i relish the day that i can drop i can drop a 2K video in the morning, a Modern Warfare video in the middle of the day, 15 NBA videos in, in, in uh, during the meantime, in, in between time, and then come and drop a walkthrough. You know what I'm saying? Like, who don't want to do that? Every, and do it on one channel, and people mess, and people rock with it. Bro, everybody want that, man. So, you know, it is what it is. So, enough of that. Pretty much what he was talking about is... 2K and the build system and how people are exploiting the steel system and how it, it virtually is non-existent because if you if you everybody came out there a lot of people came out with 25 steel now my hypothesis on the 25 steel and the 25 uh shot close is this I play around that as a center I haven't put steel on my guy in like three years or I have not prioritized steel in three years because of the fact that I feel like I shouldn't be going for those steals as a center when you go for a steal sometimes you put yourself out of position and you leave yourself vulnerable to, you know you, and you 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 pretty much hang your team out to dry guards on the perimeter can reach and do all that stuff but as a center you're the last line of defense so unless they throw the ball directly at me or at my face i try not to reach off I, if i know that the guy is 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 hemmed up out here and then you know everybody you know what i'm saying he can't he can't go nowhere with the ball and i'm standing in between the passer and my man squarely in between him and and then they i know they're gonna throw the ball at me that's when i'll reach but in that case anybody should be able to get a steal no matter what your rating is you shouldn't have to have a, a, a 70 plus or a 90 steal to catch a ball that's thrown directly at you when you play good position defense also if you're playing good position defense on the perimeter i really feel like you shouldn't even be reaching like that anyway so that's why a lot of people compromised on steal because 
like like, like me, T. Mills, and the guys like that, we say, I'm not going to reach anywhere. I'm just going to try to play good position, good body up defense, and just go from there. And if somebody throw the ball directly at me, I should be able to steal it anyway, regardless of what the rating is. Still is a little bit unique. But at the same time, he's talking about the interior defense and all of that stuff and how if they patch these, if they patch these things, people are going to be upset. And uh, 2K needs to needs to let us re retool our players and redistribute the points in some way. Like you're locked in your position, you're locked in with your arms arm length and all of that. It's just like you're a person that just learned a new skill, so you just you can just up your stuff or down it. I feel like my build is patch proof because I don't need shot close. Like I said, I took five shot close in the last five years and I got cursed out by my point guard every time I did it. Like, bro, you know you can't score down there. I hit three of them and missed two of them. Like, bro, you know you can't score down there. Kick the ball back out. Hey, you absolutely right. But hey, I, I, I wanted to go up with it. I'm an outside center. I have no business doing that. Now as a guard, yeah, because you're going to go down there, you're going to pump fake, the dude going to fly by, and you want to be able to make that. I understand you having shot close as a guard, but as an outside center, I got no business having shot close, so I can completely play around that. I told you, I told you, boom time. Tough, man. I ain't going to lie. He was working the post. I ain't going to lie. But, um, you know, I can play around that, and I can play around not having steel, because I feel like if you throw the ball directly at somebody, anybody should have the ability to catch it. So steel is a little bit, it's a little bit unique. Um. And like I said, but like like he did say, if you got a 25 three ball, you're not making threes. You got 25 dribbling, you're not really dribbling like that. You know, if you got 25 anything else other than interior defense, then you know, you're gonna be in trouble with that stat. And I completely agree with that. I don't know if 2K is gonna change it. I don't know if this was a mistake. I don't know if they put blocking as your uh, shot contest for a reason, but it seems like they have tweaked it and made it a little bit better with um, you know, with the passing days and stuff like that. But the major thing that <laughs> the major thing that he said was instead of worrying about all the um what's, what's what do they do, bro? Instead of putting the shot stick in the game, which they have to keep patching and keep moving, and the shot stick is really useless now because of the Kronos in, they made it so that you have to it's different every time so if it's gonna be different every time we might as well time the shots right so you know with that being the case he's like instead of working on the shot stick they could have easily just come through and um and put that time and effort that they use working on the shot stick into making the ball tangible at more times so that people can't just dribble the air out of the ball and uh you know you can't get a steal or something like that i think that's really the reason that people have have not prioritize the steal rate because it's just like look at me shoot perfect y'all want the jump shot uh 500 likes i'm gonna drop their jump shot uh today but look people have not prioritized the steal rate number one because you can't really get steals reliably and number two it's just the simple fact that come on man it's like if you can get them without without doing it he is right about that you can get them without doing it but you can't get them reliably so why am i going to prioritize that over something else and that's all i'm saying now if they would make ball tangibility something you know where where people have to actually protect the ball and stuff like that with a ball because like he said you reach for the ball like as a basketball player in real life i know when i can get a steal when you make a certain move that i've seen you make 30 different times if I'm standing on this spot, I should be able to get the steal. And a lot of times, you know, when people cross over and stuff like that, what do we do? We just put our hand right there in the middle. You understand what I'm saying? We put our hand right there in the middle, and a lot of times we're going to get that steal, and we're going to get that steal because we know what you're going to do. We know you're crossing over. I got my hand right here, and boom, I'm going to get that steal. So, you know, he was just saying, hey, what they should have done is prioritize working on that type of thing uh, over the shot stick that nobody asked for but like i said every now and then 2k gets a wild half day behind and they want to work on something uh that nobody asked for and then they they bring it in they get rid of it and all of that the shot stick was very good in the beginning it was double the challenge for double the reward now it's 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 just double the hassle for for less than half the reward you might as well just use the button and it's something that they that that we tr they tried to put in the game but hey 2k the 2k community we forced them to take it out of the game and forced them to put it in the way that it is right now because nobody i mean you know the zen was it but now they're doing all this stuff to get the zen out of the game and that could be time that they could be doing something else man but you know it is what it is man but um you know other than that man it was a really good video you guys should go watch it you probably already didn't watch it anyway i mean it's chris move who hasn't watched the video link to it is down in the description but um you know like i said man uh, he said some other things about the demigods and how you can get badges at a lower rating as a power forward, but as a point guard, you got to have like 90, 90 some odd to get quick first step and all that good stuff. Bro, it's, it's a good video. Go check that out. Let me know if you think he's right. I think he's right to a very large degree. That's why I did the whole thing a couple years ago, make attributes great again, because I felt like attributes really didn't matter 
in uh, 2K19. I felt like we were just out there and if you had the badges, you could do stuff. But you know, if you had the attributes, uh, it, it didn't matter if you had the attributes or not. But y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section. Is he right? Is he wrong? Uh, what do you agree with? What do you disagree with? And uh, I'm gonna let y'all next time. Till next time. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and all that good stuff. But like I said, I play around still and I play around my shot close. So my build is patch proof. They can do anything they want to. I will be fine. I got max strength, max interior. I got max all of that stuff. And I feel like my player real feels really good. And my guy T. Mizzle said that they played against a guy that had max interior with no block. And he was getting mad contest. So, so you know, it's some give and take in there. I don't know if they tweaking the game right now and making different things be the case. But he said they played with a guy, he had max interior and a very low block, and he was getting mad contest. So what we're seeing, it might not be completely true, but it ain't completely false either. But I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Hope you, you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,